Mount Rushmore is a Freemason shrine and demonic portal for communism. In a recent New York Times piece, South Dakota State Rep calls Mount Rushmore a Freemason shrine, demonic portal for communism. And his revelation came from the Lord. A South Dakota state representative bizarrely claimed that the state's Mount Rushmore is a Freemason shrine and a demonic portal for communism. Joe Donnell, who represents South Dakota's District 1 in the state legislature, said during an appearance on the Now is the Time podcast that his oddball revelation about the iconic national monument came from the Lord. If you go back and do some history on Mount Rushmore, it actually is a Freemason shrine. Donnell says in a viral video clip of the podcast posted by Right Wing Watch. What the Lord has revealed to me is that Mount Rushmore has a direct ley line to Washington, D.C. Stay with us, this gets a little more strange. Donnell then went on to explain the nefarious significance of a ley line, which is described as a path of spiritual energy that passes from one place to another. Now listeners, we'd never heard of a ley line, so Google as our friend here. Ley lines are straight alignments drawn between various historic structures, prehistoric sites, and prominent landmarks. The idea was developed in early 20th century Europe, with ley line believers arguing that these alignments were recognized by ancient societies that deliberately erected structures along them. Since the 1960s, members of the Earth Mysteries movement and other esoteric traditions have commonly believed that such ley lines demarcate Earth energies and serve as guides for alien spacecraft. Archaeologists and scientists regard ley lines as an example of pseudo-archaeology and pseudoscience. Yes, this is crazy to us, but wait, there is more wackadoodle coming. Donald continued to say, In order to understand the spiritual realm of what we're facing, we have to realize that in order for the enemy to do anything, it needs the agreement of human beings. In order to be empowered to do more damage, he needs the agreement of human beings and oftentimes that comes in the form of an altar that acts as a portal for demonic things. What we're really dealing with in that portal is communism. That witchcraft altar, those things that are happening in the Black Hills, what we're dealing with is communism. It's the ideology and all the demonic entities and spirits behind that, he continued. Donnell is allegedly a member of the Sisseton Wapiton Oyate tribe. The land on which Mount Rushmore was built is considered sacred by local Native Americans. Mount Rushmore, which was completed in 1941, features the immense faces of former presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt carved into the granite mountainside. Washington and Roosevelt were Freemasons, an international fraternal organization dating back hundreds of years, according to the Museum of Freemasonry. The monument sculptor Gutson Borglum was also a Freemason. Stay tuned for a future piece on him. The Masonic organization has long been a target for conspiracy theorists. In fact, attacks are on the rise as we have covered in previous pieces on this podcast. Donald made the head-scratching remarks during an interview with Now is the Time host Mary Crowley in a podcast episode titled State Representative Joe Donald from South Dakota Sharing Vital Info About Heaven's Opening. Look this up on YouTube if you want to feel better about yourself. Donald was promoting the religious event Open the Heavens, Let God Arise in Rapid City where he was listed as a guest speaker. On her podcast, Cruelly regularly delves into conspiracy theories on her show like The Deep State, COVID-19 Vaccines, and former President Donald Trump's indictments. Earlier this year, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem signed an executive order declaring June 3, 2023 as Open the Heavens Day. The South Dakota Democratic Party Chair, Jennifer Slate Hansen, wrote a letter to the governor in response to the video clip and asked that she renounce Donald's comments. Slate Hansen asked two questions of the governor in this letter. First, is Governor Noem in agreement with Reprenum Donald's statement that Mount Rushmore is a portal that is spreading communism throughout America? And secondly, if not, will she publicly repudiate him? Donald's comments come as the National Park Service denied Governor Noem's request for a fireworks show at Mount Rushmore on the 4th of July for the third year in a row amid objections from Native Americans who don't want their land disturbed. The land is sacred to the Lakota Sioux tribe, who refer to the area in their language as Paha Sapa, or the heart of everything that is. Based on that, is this a real reason for Donald to spew these baseless claims, especially in an environment when Freemasonry is literally under attack? This includes the craft and the physical assets. Tell us what you thought of this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the Old Fashioned Masonic Podcast. This piece was published by Patrick Riley on June 28, 2023 in the New York Post. 
Please find a link for this article in the video description.